Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. I'm Karen, this is Dawn, and we are in location in Tempe, Arizona. We are here because Dawn is racing in Ironman, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we've done Ironman before. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time, yeah. but we are here um, to honor our friend Patricia, who was actually the one who got all of us to agree to race Ironman Arizona 2020. Um, of course, COVID hit and our borders were closed, but on a sadder note, Patricia was killed last summer. And so we all stuck to deferring to this year and coming down here to race in her honor. Mm-hmm. 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 So aside from that, you know, that's an important um, thing that we wanted to mention Mm -hmm. in in terms of you know why we're here but we wanted to make this into an episode because Don is using a very interesting technique to prepare for this race which I'll let her tell you a little bit about. Very unorthodox. Now um, I did not have this year in my schedule for putting the time aside to race so I have not trained properly just to give you an idea of what an Ironman is it's a four kilometer swim to start followed by 180 kilometer bike ride and then a marathon which is 42.2 k run to finish and tomorrow we have 16 hours and 40 minutes to finish that and normally when you train a lot of people will take six to nine months even a year to train for this and the training usually involves at least 10 hours, more like 15, 16, and at the peak, you know, four to eight weeks ago, people would have been peaking with, you know, 20 to 24 hours a week of training and dedication. What would what it would look like in a week is um, swimming three to four times, running usually around three times, biking three, maybe four times, yoga, strength training, stretching. Right now. I will summarize how much training I've done since January. I have swam nine times. I swam four times this summer at the quarry, and I swam five times since coming home from France three weeks ago. So that's nine swims total, (laughs) instead of like swimming three times a week for a year, Yeah, right? Biking, I have not done the most amount of biking, certainly not long distance. I haven't done volume. I've done one 80 kilometer bike, one 90 kilometer bike, and one 100 kilometer bike. And that's it for distance. When we were in France, we biked five days, but because it was so mountainous and the the mistral winds were so strong, we only got in about 35 kilometers a day. One day we only got in 20. So it really wasn't volume as much as it was, you know, cycling on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then running, I have run two 10 kilometer runs and one 13 and, and one half marathon, which is 21 K. And actually I think that race, it was only 20 K. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, I am, Definitely undertrained. <laughs> I've coached a lot of people to do an Ironman, and I wouldn't recommend <laughs> going into an <laughs> Ironman with this little training, quite honestly. But we wanted to try some other things that we've been talking about on the channel. That's right. Yeah. So, so I implemented some of the techniques, like emotional freedom technique and tapping, mm-hmm. which we have a video on that for how it helps with athletic performance. And I also meditated regularly to make sure that my body, my energy body and my regular body are healthy and balanced. And I also did a lot of visualization manifesting where I visualized myself in the race from start to finish. Yeah, so I used those techniques. And I think what we've also seen in the science, especially with some Joe Dispenza work that we've done is, you know, there's uh, studies where people do bicep curls, right? Mm -hmm. For, I don't know, eight weeks. And then there's another group that just visualized doing the bicep curls. And the ones that just visualized it still had a 13% increase in strength. Mm -hmm. So you're using a lot of this kind of um, 
research and we're going to see if it works. So between the, the visualization, the meditation, mm -hmm. the manifestation, the tapping mm -hmm. and, and so on, we're hoping that Don can make it through. Yeah. yeah. So again, I don't recommend people do this, but I think, I think what we'll find out of this is that it's a valuable tool to add into, you know, regular training. Absolutely. Yeah. And in life in general. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're putting, you know, what we're telling our viewers into practice. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We're putting it to the test yeah. and we'll see how it turns out. I know that I feel mentally ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know physically I'm not, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, see what matters. Goes. Yeah. All, All right. right. Okay. So we'll check back in with you tomorrow. Yep. Okay, how are you feeling? I'm ready. You're ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Woohoo! Yes, channeling All right. Chitra and uh, did my tapping this morning. So. Excellent, excellent. Here we go. All righty. <laughs> See you at the finish line. Yeah, have a great day. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. are amazing. I'm so proud of you. Oh, How do you feel? I feel so good. I had you, so much fun. I know, and you've done amazing. <laughs> not so bad for not training, eh? No, exactly. All the tapping, the meditation. Exactly. All right, quarter mile to go. We'll see you at the finish. So done. Mm -hmm. You finished the Iron Man. I finished Iron Man. Yeah. So. I wanted to ask you a few questions about that because you did an amazing job out there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, based on the lack of training, I kind of was really worried about you going into the race. <laughs> you didn't say that earlier, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> so thank you for not saying that. I probably would have gotten my head, yeah. Right. But you rocked it. And so let's talk about how you did that. Okay. Well, I, on the shoreline is usually when I think most people really panic. And that's the only time that I, I'm not someone who's really a worrier. Yeah. Um, I don't get overly stressed out very easily. So, but on the, on the beach, I'm usually thinking to myself, why do I do this, do this. to myself? Yes. Why do I put yeah. myself through this? Common. Common. And so I just, just I, I was tapping from before it even happened. Right. You know, so I was tapping, tapping, tapping. So tapping would get rid of the jitters so that you could um, be your best version right. of you, mm -hmm. you know, as Brad Gates yes. talked about. That still doesn't physically get you through the race. And I know your race preparation wasn't even close to what you needed to do to physically mm -hmm. get through the race. Plus, with your autoimmune diseases that you have, you just have trouble sometimes with physical exercise, right? right. Uh, so oh, what, like a week and a half earlier, I'd gone for a 2.6 kilometer run and I was in so much pain. And that was right. just a, a two and a half K run. And this was 42 <laughs> kilometers. After an 180K after bike. 180 K bike and that after, the four K swim. Yeah. We both went to see a traditional Chinese medicine master prior to the race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he does medical Qigong. I don't know what he did, honestly. Yeah. But do you think that was a that factor? I mean I, I've been very lucky. I haven't he said, you know, okay, you're cured. And I have been putting it to the test. I've eaten bread and I have not been, you know, curled up in a ball in the corner right. in pain. Um, the bike was absolutely horrendously bumpy, which with my, um, vibrational hereditary angioedema uticaria, that should have put me into anaphylactic shock. Yeah. And, and it didn't. didn't. Um, the temperature of the water was fairly cold, mm -hmm. um, for swimming in for, especially for that length of time. And I should have gotten a Raynaud's attack. And I didn't. didn't. So, 
maybe he did maybe he did yeah and but mentally because you know i think iron man is physical but also just such a mental challenge what did you do there i tried to stay in a meditative state the whole time okay yeah uh in fact normally when i'm racing i'm very cheerleader type like i'm yelling crazy like yeah. hey keep going yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like uh or even just walking with people or talking with them trying to um you know you know just kind of bond with everyone you kind of do it together right i didn't do that this time i kind of kept to myself and i just stayed very focused and just really i remembered all the visualization that i had been doing prep wise but staying in a very meditative state and also maybe not giving your energy out quite so yeah. much i really focused on yeah my energy yeah. my energy field mm -hmm. and yeah. i think that that had a big part of it uh, in yeah. it yeah, yeah. Cool. and i think meditating and staying in that state really helped me to not feel any pain or anything as well mm. um so i it it worked yeah and then there was a little surprise along the way <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell me how. Tell me about that. That had an effect too. Uh, yeah, my my husband um, unfortunately lost his best friend um, to cancer and had the funeral the day before the the race, so he couldn't come with me and he couldn't race either because mm -hmm. he chose and he did he made the right decision of course going um, to uh, to be a part of that. But then while I was in the run portion. Karen's husband Barry I thought was just kind of like filming me and, and and asking me some questions about the race and all of a sudden he's like hey by the way we have a surprise and I guess maybe we'll show the video how you feeling great what an incredible bike you really? were swimming bike was spectacular it was it was so crazy windy out there it was. I don't have a timer or anything, so I have no idea what I'm doing. You had a sub eight hour bike. You had a 123. We got something for you right here. So, as you could see, I was very surprised. Yeah. And, you know, on the run, I had kind of gone into it visualizing just. Kind of meeting up with a certain group of of women on our team that uh, might be finishing a little later and kind of sticking together and, and working together to get over that finish line and my plans changed when he was there because uh i he was only going to be in town for like 24 hours and he'd already been in town for a while planning the surprise so i really was motivated to get to the finish line a little earlier so i i guess dug deep and kind of honed in a little bit more into wanting to get to that finish line and it definitely inspired me and gave me more energy to to push and, and finish a little earlier than I had planned. And it's interesting how just a little bit of inspiration in the middle of a hard event can really help. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I've never experienced anything like that before. That was really good. Yeah. 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 And it's so nice having everyone there cheering you on, like all your friends mm -hmm. are there and that is so important and so nice. And even the the um the stations with everyone cheering really helps the music and everything. But yeah, that was a whole other level. Yeah. 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 It was like having a a second surge for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I am so proud of you <laughs> and um, amazed that you pulled that off. Um, but it does go to show you that the techniques that we talk about, you know, do have some effect, you know? Yeah, I, I believed in them before because the science is there, but after yeah. experiencing it firsthand, yeah it, yeah, it really does work. Yeah. And I would be really curious to talk to more other, like other people about that and kind of hear how people feel about it because it almost is easier I think putting the physical time in to training mm -hmm. than actually even just setting aside 15 minutes a day to mentally meditate for it mentally preparing is actually easier in the grand scheme of things it's more efficient it's actually it to me it takes less effort 
but I think it's so out of our comfort zone mm -hmm. that it's almost easier, I guess, from an ego. For most people. Yeah. For most people, I would think that yeah. it's easier to do the physical training because they know how to do that. Yeah. I think. It, the and they faith, trust it maybe. Yeah. More. The faith. And if more athletes or more people took mm -hmm. this into, like, just spent the 15 minutes a day yeah. doing this, honestly, wow, what it can yeah. do for you. Yeah. So. I'm, a, I'm more of a believer now. Yeah, great. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you liked it, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss another episode. Mm -hmm. And again, congratulations. And, and thank you for coming and cheering me on. Yeah, and it was fun. supporting me and everyone else there. It was just, it's always such a wonderful wonderful yep. experience so thank you thank you and we will see you all again bye